Buy fresh, buy local is, to me, just common sense. You really think about the traditions that we are losing in this country or some of the traditions that have just never planted themselves that firmly in, in our sort of American eating heritage. We've really lost that to convenience. I think we became seduced at some point with technology and convenience in terms of farming and also in terms of the way that we buy our food. There's a kind of nostalgia that's coming along with it, but there's a real sense of we've got to recapture what, we, what we've lost. For me, it makes it's very fulfilling. It's, it's something I've watched over the years and watched it deteriorate, I think. And people have gotten so used to um, buying something that comes from another part of the world that hasn't been picked at, at the peak of its flavor. And they don't, they don't realize how good something can taste. And when I hand somebody, yesterday at market, I handed somebody a strawberry. I don't think she had ever tasted a homegrown strawberry and it's like her, she just her face just lit up and she didn't she never had one of those she was going to go buy those big red ones across the way and and it's just that kind of thing that that makes you feel good about what you're doing i'm really amazed and uh, grateful for the buy fresh buy local because it has made um a tremendous difference i noticed it um significant amount last year, but even in the beginning months of this year, I just see such a significant impact. And yes, it is an economical impact, and that's, that's, that's a blessing to us, but it's also just that people are supporting and wanting to, to have the best that they can have, which is right here. My husband, um, John, grew up on this property. His, his father owned it, and his grandfather had owned it before him. They worked together in the produce. We're not sure exactly when they started at Central Market, but we think it was somewhere around 1900, have been um, part of the market then since that. So that's kind of how this, this came to be. Iceberg lettuce is shipped and it's been shipped for what, a week or so till it gets to you? Where one comes off my farm, it's juicy, it's green, it, it's it tastes like something. That's rare for iceberg, isn't it? I think there was that kind of a mindset. Well, you know, Lancaster County produce is so, is so available, so plentiful. Why should it cost any money at all? You know, why don't you just give it away kind of thing? I think that that is definitely changing, that, that um, people see that, again, because of the buy fresh, buy local, people see the value and they've tasted the value. I, I just think that is the main thing, that once they get that taste, that, that um, flavor, that freshness, they, they uh, really, really appreciate the local product. I think Lancaster has a, a unique um, strength in certain ways because there are so many family farms here, much more than in other parts of the country. And it, it's what makes Lancaster so attractive to tourists, it, it's what makes it so attractive to the people who live here. And every time we lose a farm, we lose a piece of that. Um, but what we lose is, is you know, it, it's cultural, it's economic, it's a community strength that's lost. Um, so our vitality slips away with every farm that, that goes. We've seen um, a significant impact locally in the city. Um, four years ago, we didn't have an Eastern Market. The Eastern Market has been basically revitalized. So that's bringing more farmers and farm products in, into the city. We're starting our third season here at Eastern Market. Started here a few years ago with this beautiful historic building which was built in 1883. The market was founded by um, members of Buy Fresh Buy Local. It was really an effort to start a local market, um, recognizing that's something that doesn't exist here, this, a purely local seasonal market. Our mission is really to increase the access of fresh food here in the community. It's a neighborhood without many grocery stores or fresh food sources. The vendors here are tremendous people. They're all very generous, very kind, um, very committed to the mission. 
Uh, we have amazing farmers that sell their produce here, and one of the really interesting vendors we have is Atayu Zenaba. It's really amazing to look at this plate of Ethiopian food that's made out of Lancaster County farm fields. So uh, she's an amazing example of what Buy Fresh by Local means in kind of a local global context. To, to begin with, I buy everything from here. Um, my vegetables, my tomatoes, potatoes, and cabbage, just everything. It has a nutritional value, it's in 100%. And uh, because it's prepared fresh, um, you don't waste anything. Knowing my vendor, I know I am serving my customers the best of the best. And I don't have to worry where the, the, my tomato came from. I don't want, I don't have to, I have the source right here. That's the best thing to do, I believe. Economically, when people are keeping money in the local economy, but we also have, you know, what makes Lancaster special. And I think we're seeing a lot of people wanting to move here, and a lot of people moving here from big metropolitan areas because of the quality of life. And that quality of life is in danger if we lose if we lose our farms. It's the thing that makes us what we are. I, I think John and Ethel's farm is typical of of the kind of challenge that we're looking at in in Lancaster. You have these beautiful family settlements. They've been here since the early 19th century, or or even before. They're wonderfully and efficiently farmed. Um, but as we've begun, as our farmers have begun to lose their livelihood, what happens is they're put in the position of having to sell their land, or if they decide that they cannot continue to farm and their, their, their sons and daughters don't want to continue, they sell their land. And land for development is enormously expensive, but it's also enormously profitable for developers. So you have this, this very, um, to my eye anyway, this very unnerving juxtaposition of these beautiful farms against this, um, this, this if I can say, this ridiculous um, you know, contemporary development. Local farmers' biggest concerns, I think, have to do with the bottom line. I mean, it's always on the front of their mind. They're thinking about, you know, how am I going to make a go at this? And that, I mean, that basically drives everything they do. Um, so I think, you know, if you think about this Buy Fresh, Buy Local campaign, that is just an amazing asset for them to tap into and to ensure that they, that they can make a go at it. Buy Fresh, Buy Local for us is nothing new. The emphasis on it is really a return to my youth, days gone by, and certainly the history of this market. The relationship between the buyer and the, and the producer here is it's just all important. In the world we're living in today, I think people are getting tired of a world dominated by computers, cell phones, uh, everyone having something plugged into their ears for music or entertainment. People are crying out for relationships. And so what happens when they come to market is they get to make friends, they get to know the stand holder, they see folks that from their neighborhood, folks that they went to school with. People are here not only to buy fresh local products, but to build the relationships that I think people today are really reaching out and trying to find. Basically, we use the Buy Fresh, Buy Local tag to demark to the customers what is actually locally grown. And uh, certainly lots and lots of customers are looking for that tag to make their produce. Not only because they know it's good, fresh, quality product, but they want to support a local business person who really does the whole job of providing this produce. There's ten and a half acres. We probably roughly farm seven, a little over seven. We learned how to double crop, uh, triple crop, and uh, have crops during the winter time, which really adds a lot. Central Market is the main farmers market in Lancaster. There originally was the West End, the North End, uh, the Fulton, the Southern, the Arcade, and the West End. It's a place for local people to come and and buy their daily groceries. There's people come up from Maryland, uh, Delaware. They've come from farther around to buy uh, fresh, local, organic produce. My father always wanted to have things fresh. Some of the customers, they've been regulars for years and years and years, and, and they still come back. Going to market Tuesday, uh, catch up Wednesday, get ready for market Thursday, go to market Friday, catch up Saturday, and 
try to rest on Sunday and start on Monday again. <laughs> it's the ones from way back that say, I only paid so much for this then. It's so expensive now. The gas is up. <laughs> Electric's up. Mm. It costs to heat the greenhouse and they understand. Buying fresh and buying local is meaning lots more to people here in the community. People are more health conscious and so if you eat fresh and local that's better than buying something that's shipped two weeks ago or cut two weeks ago and freshened up and looks a little drabby and a little wealthy and our thing is to produce something good for people uh, not not to give ourselves a name but because we want to help people and encourage them to be healthy it is good to give them something good and know that you're doing it honestly and and uh, trying to help some farmers are really in a bind uh, we haven't got to that place yet I grew up uh, sifting flour in her kitchen. She always had an outdoor garden, which is sort of uh, where I got the connection of fresh food uh, being so important. She, as long as there uh, wasn't snow on the ground, she was always running out to the garden to get something for the kitchen. So it's, uh, I guess, since I was a little kid, been an important part of my life. So you're only as good as, as what you buy. Um, your ingredients uh, really it makes your life a lot easier. If you buy the freshest, best tasting seasonal ingredients, then you really don't have to do that much work. <laughs> it's uh, uh, the less you have to manipulate the food, the better off you are. And uh, it's, that's the, what I think most people, most chefs will tell you that if, if they can get something, you know, f from next door, from a neighbor farm, um, they're going to use it nine times out of 10 over anything else. I think it's a great campaign. The biggest benefit for it is that it educates um, people within the community that may not be farmers or may not be, um, you know, food service or culinary uh, professionals, so that they know that hey, this asparagus came from a farm, you know, five miles away. So it's the best. It's local. I'm supporting not only the farmer, but I'm supporting the restaurant or the or the market stand. Keeping that uh, dollar in the community helps everybody in the long run. Hey, I saw Eric down at. Eastern Market or down at Central Market buying whatever it is, um, I want to go see what he did with it tonight. You know, that's the best PR that you can possibly have. Uh, pants here, diver scallops with hominy and a uh, pickled pepper pot, which is local peppers, uh, jalapeno red and yellow peppers um, with some local scallions, julienne on the top. Uh, we also did uh, a uh, baby beets that I bought uh, yesterday from Promised Land Farms. We roasted those, served them with uh, Apple Tree Farm goat cheese, which is a local uh, artisan. And I topped the dish with microgreens that I grew on the roof. Um, so it's uh, sort of a hodgepodge of things that are local. <laughs> uh, my advice for a chef who wants to become buy fresh, buy local certified would be to talk with other culinary professionals in the region, talk with um, market stand owners, and go to, the, go to the markets, talk to the farmers, and they can certainly give you uh, the information that you need to make those connections. Buy Fresh, Buy Local is a campaign or movement to try to get culinary professionals, the general public, market goers, to help support local farmers and generating um, relationships with uh, people within the community. I like to know where my food comes from, personally know what I'm putting into my body, so I, I would like to be able to give that same information to my customers. And, and, I, and I think the, the campaign, Buy Fresh, Buy Local campaign is, has educated people in the community and they expect that now. You can't live with in a city that is surrounded by farms and not use the produce from uh, around the city. Any chef should want to be out in the environment that his restaurant is and and have his eyes opened up to what's available out there. I mean because no matter where you are there's something that's uh, something that's beautiful and, and worth putting on a plate. Okay, I came home. It was one of the first times I had bought his salad mix and um, <laughs> Nate put, I said, oh, Nate, this is so good. The salad is incredible. I will. Here. 
sweet. <laughs> we are making pasta. How's it going, darling? One day, Nate and I went on a big shopping trip, you know, like our uh, weekly shopping trip. And the cashier said to us, oh, you've spent almost $7,000 so far. When we came home, we started freaking out because we realized, oh, we're spending a lot on um, like maybe a bulk box of salad that we throw half of away because we, we can't use it fast enough and it comes home and it's not even quite fresh. It's at its peak and we've got to eat the salad in three days or it's going to start spoiling. We had to stop shopping there so we downsized. We stopped shopping there and we went to um, more of a local or uh, you know a regular grocery store. Even then we were like these things still aren't fresh and they're not even good. But we'd go to the local chain store, the local national market, and we'd, we'd find things that we, we wouldn't consider fresh or even edible out of our own refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And it was to the point, why are we paying money for this stuff? There has to be a better option. And we had gone to market before in the past. And like as a special treat. As we'd a special like, treat, oh, right. Oh yeah, let's, today we'll go to market as an event, like as a, an outing. Right, and we'd go there and we'd get some vegetables, but it was more, at that point, it was more about maybe getting a baked good or a smoothie or a coffee drink or something. It's just something to do rather than where we get our food. So we thought about that and we're like, the food was always great. The, the food we got from there was always pleasing, always fresh. So we started going back there and there's even a transition from that point to the point we're at now. Right now we're trying to shop as much organic as we can, um, as much local as we can. If, if stands we know have the buy fresh, buy local um, little picture, I just feel so much better about even shopping there. For me, one of the things that I kind of think about on a semi-regular basis is our use of energy. Our use of energy is really an important thing in my daily thought process. Like, how far do I drive? Why do I need to drive that far? Do I need to drive that far? What is the fuel I'm using? All that stuff. And that relates directly back to food in that most of our food travels 1,500 miles just to get here. And that's ridiculous. It's gross. It's so gross. <laughs> I mean, we live in Lancaster County. This, this place was founded because of the soil we have, because of the things that can be grown here. It's, it's crazy that we're getting broccoli from California or whatever from Argentina or Chile or whatever flown here using huge amounts of energy. It is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I know. It gets so worked up about it. It's so ridiculous. Don't ever see blueberries that look like this or heads of lettuce that are almost like bouquets of flowers. You know, you just, I don't see that every day. So um, to me, it's, it's treasures and bringing home treasures. And some of the things you buy in market, you just can't get anywhere else. No. Like the sausage we had in our pasta today. No, you can't, you can't buy, can't that. buy that anywhere. anywhere. It's unbeatable. One of the familial sayings that mostly from her family, not so much in my family, but I'm yeah. not as being part love. of that family is this is grown with love or this uh -huh. is cooked with love. Mm -hmm. And never are you, do you have that relationship at a box store. No. Never will you have that relationship. You, you will never even meet the person who had any contact with that food other than pulling it out of a box. They were the sweetest, darkest things I've ever tasted. This time around, you know, 12 years ago, whatever, cherries on a tree, but this time it was like, um, I took the time to notice that there's tons of things like that, you know, there's not just cherries, there's, like Nate said, every single <laughs> fruit or whatever that's in season, there's some kind of farm that has an event or has a um, pick your own or roadside stands, those are treasures in themselves. Absolutely. We have become a nation that treats food almost like it's a cog in this big machine. We buy food at food warehouses. You know, we, we get it in these prepackaged 
containers, which actually adds a huge amount of, of waste into the into municipal waste streams. So um, part of a local food system, or one of the important things about a local food system, is that it's it's intimate in the best sense of the word, and you you have a more intense personal connection with your food. You know where your food comes from. You know these these local family farms can coexist with some of the larger commercial operations, especially with the push for this buy fresh, buy local campaign. Um, I think that the small family farmers can find some security in that in that they won't, won't have to sell out to a larger commercial farmer or something like that. I think is very, very important for, for us, in particular for consumers, is, is to realize that um, very, very small shifts in your shopping habits have enormous impact. So, for example, let's just say that the average family spends a little over $5,000 a year in, um, in their annual food budget. If over a period of five years you shift 5% of your food uh, budget to buying local food, so say 1% a year, that would have the effect of putting $45 million extra into the local economy. In Lancaster, I'm speaking now specifically of Lancaster, that's huge, that's huge. It's sort of sad to me that it's, um, they're almost an endangered breed, I guess you could say, and um, the smaller farmer, the farmer that, I don't know, seems to care about what they're making and what they're, uh, well, planting and harvesting and um, nurturing, uh, I don't know, that's one of the more valuable things I can say, uh, or I can imagine. Um, I wish I could give all my money to them, you know, like I wish I could just help them more than I possibly could because um, I just feel like maybe they're, maybe they won't be around so much longer. I don't know. At some point, we're going to realize the error of our ways, but it's going to be too late. I don't think anyone can be convinced, really. You know, if you show like how meaningful it, how important it is, I think you can convince anyone, really. It's just a matter of awareness. It's just awareness. The average consumer can become more involved with Buy Fresh, Buy Local by going to the market, the central market, the eastern market, looking for our logo, and knowing that those are the farmers who are growing food in Lancaster County. They can join CSAs, which are community-supported agriculture, where they get food that they can pick up or food that's delivered once a week that's grown locally. and really supports farmers by buying in early in the process. They can go to the restaurants that are members of Buy Fresh, Buy Local, which they can find out about in the green pages, uh, and those restaurants are sure to be offering local foods. But one of the biggest ways that they can get involved is by going to the restaurants and asking for local food. If you love it, if you care about it, spread the word. Um, the restaurant owners will often change their habits only if they're asked to. And the same thing with Central Market, with Eastern Market, ask for more foods by local growers. Really make that demand. Um, but I think that in an economy like ours, every dollar you spend is a vote. And so vote with your dollars. Go out there and, and buy the food from the county. Think that I'm a funny way to waste most of the time.